Beginners walk through to how armies work, vassalization, and how battles play out. There are no strategies in this video, check out some of our others to get an idea of a great defensive and offensive layout. Starting with training armies, we want to start with a cheap sparring grounds or the expensive barracks. Sparring grounds will train weaker units, but they are easier to house. Barracks will train stronger units, but they require luxuries to keep happy, otherwise they will wander off to your rival's kingdom. Once we have enough troops, we head to the battle grid. The max is 100 for your army, and this is where it's placed though you can add in several thousand more without cap, which depending on your level will vary as you need to maintain a healthy workforce at all times, but once ready, head to the Search Kingdoms page and find your target. Ideally, this is someone with equal to less troops than you in quality and quantity. When we hire a target, we will launch an attack. You will see the option to join the defending side. This is if you want to help another player in battle. If multiple people join the attacking side and they prevail over the defenders, the remaining attacking forces will fight to the death to settle kingdom ownership. This gives leeway for smaller kingdoms to band together and share equal chance of vassalizing larger kingdoms. After you're in the attack screen, you will have your red bar to the right. This is swapped if you are defending, in which case it would be on the left as a purple bar. As the attacker, you will likely want to have more swordsmen and knights than spearmen and pikemen. Archers on defense and offense should remain roughly the same quantity, about 30 archers. Knights on offense, you would like to have around 15 to 20. Defense this lessens to 10 and the rest you can check out our strategy guides for. To start, we will want to select the unit we will place by clicking or tapping on them. Once they are selected green, we are ready to place them. We can either quick draw on the tile formation to place these units or place them one at a time. These units each have special characteristics which you can learn more about in our army guides. Archers should be placed at the back, knights are used on the flanks, spearmen kill knights and swordsmen kill spearmen. Imagine it like a game of rock, paper, scissors, but we've also added the dynamite. Boom! Once battle formations are saved, the AI will take over from there. The opposing side has 24 hours to accept or surrender the battle request. If surrendered, no troops fight. If accepted, war begins. In the 24 hours before the fight begins, both sides can apply as many armies as they would like in order to fight the battle. Though at the battle, lifetime stats are generated for viewing, displaying your troops remaining and troops lost. You are able to toggle on and off battle gifts which show imagery adding a immersive layer to the game. 